guiding light. Free man. Oh, is that what I am now? A free man. Anything oh. you want to be, nephew. Well, thank you for those words of wisdom. You know, all my life there's been a woman. But I managed to screw up every relationship. Because of my mistakes that I blamed on them. Yes, Sue. And promises. I didn't keep. But I guess now, everything that's in store is solo for me. Maybe not. Maybe there'll be another woman. After all these years, and then refused to see me. I didn't refuse to see you. Well, I mean, it's been all this time. It hasn't been that long. It seemed like forever to me. Time flew, you know? I mean, there's just so much to do here. And I, I didn't mean to stay away from you that long, honestly. So many wives. Why can't you tell me the truth? No, there must be some mistake. Uh, Dinah Marler, she's enrolled in your art history department. Are you certain? Yes, art history, please check. I am sorry, Mrs. Marler, but your stepdaughter Dinah has not been attending classes at the university in Paris in two years. Are you sure? Dinah Marler has not been attending classes for two years. May we? Oui. And she still owes us 800 francs. So if you would kindly follow. Thank you very much. You've been very kind. She lied to us. To her father. What else are you hiding, Dinah? What oh, secrets are you trying to keep from Daddy? I loaned you last year. What? Where are they? I need them now. Come on, Ben. Hurry up. Come on in. Don't let any cold air in. There's a lamp in here someplace. You made me cut class for this. This place is going to warm up as soon as I get this baby going. And believe you me, pal, good fishing can work up a good sweat. We're supposed to catch fish through that. No way. Hey. Going fishing isn't just about catching fish. Then what are we doing out here? Well, we're here to think, to bond, to spend time together. Yeah, then how come this feels more like running away?
keel for the fire victims. But if Lewis is going to divert all that time and manpower... The bird should not be on the private sector. The government has emergency Our taxes are high enough as it is. Let's get back to Lewis. If their taxes go up, our profits go down. That is definitely very true. Just running that I invested in this company years for me again. I promise that time I'll pay attention. Speaking of... You said the same thing last month, Mrs. Graydon. Do you even know what the figures mean? Send him over to your office tomorrow morning. Now, you don't, you don't mind if he follows you around for a day or two, do you? Shoot me now. No, I don't mind a bit. Good afternoon. May I help you? Um, yes. Please. I, I, I'm looking for, for Josh Lewis. His office said he was going to be here, so... Well, he's over there. Uh, is it some sort of emergency or something? Uh... Oh, no. Nothing like that. I just well, wanted to talk... Well, in, in that case, uh, I don't think Mr. Lewis should be disturbed. He's having his regular luncheon with his main uh, stockholders now. We should leave the clean-up to the people who live but there. But you ask me... Uh, Bill's I say, we're giving it far too I say, tear it down. What we should be talking about is the Emerson merger. And what do we mean? Oh, I like I agree with Mrs. Gray. I like that. I want to hear those monthly figures again. It's the value of our stock. Absolutely. Josh, don't you agree? Are you with me, Josh? What do you think, Josh? Would you do it, Josh? Come on. Let's go. Goodbye. I believe. In what? In guardian angels. In the moment of my greatest need, someone has sent me you. What would happen over there? I believe I just quit my job. Why don't we go before I change my mind? Since when is it running away when a father wants to spend quality time with his son? There's walleyes down there, boy. Daddy, you hate fish. I hate fish. Well, doesn't mean we can't catch a few. Do you think I'm so lame I can't catch what's going on with you? What have you caught? Well, for starters, the media awards. Yeah? So? I mean, I've, I've won a media award, and my whole yeah. team won one. Yeah, I know, but instead of coming home with it, you came home with a box full of stuff from the office. So? You quit, didn't you? Well... Yeah, I, I quit, but it doesn't mean we're going to go hungry. Yeah, but why would you quit? Did you get a better offer? Well, no, I mean, not yet. I mean, there's plenty of good offers out there, though. Yeah, but you love your job. Why would you leave? <laughs> Come on, will you listen to yourself? You're asking as many questions as your old man here. It's, it's just because, well, change is good for a guy. I mean, you're getting a rut. What was it because of her? Who? That woman I always hear you and Nick talking about. Harris? Sometimes. I can't help it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, 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 women. Son? I think it's time you and I had a little chat about women. Mom, you're acting like you're taking an expedition to the North Pole and you're telling me not to ask you any questions? I don't have any answers. But, honey, it's nothing for you to worry about. Oh, please tell me this doesn't have to do with Fletcher. You're not giving up on Dad and going to Fletcher, are you? Honey, you've got to stop hoping your father and I are going to be together. Mom. You, we tried it. It didn't work. Oh, great. Fine. Fabulous. Go. Go skip over to Fletcher. I don't care. Have fun. Go skiing. Go sledding. Do whatever you're going to do with Fletcher. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great, Mom. Everything's fine. My mother's leaving my father. <laughs> I'm living with some little liar who's turning Ross into jello and the whole thing's just making me crazy. You mean Dinah? Yes, Dinah. But what you do care? Go, take the boots, take the knapsack, take anything you want. I don't care. Go. I've got some investigating to do myself. I just needed some time, that's all. Well, I don't think that's all it was. Well, I thought maybe you'd be glad to see me. I am. I'm really glad to see you. But I'm also a little confused, I guess, and and I'm hurt. I mean, the night you came here, the night that we had the party, and you showed up from the airport, it was so wonderful. It was a surprise, and, and I was happy, and you seemed happy, and, and I thought that you and I were getting along fine. We are. I mean, we are. 
But then you just disappeared, you know. You said you would be staying here, and you went and stayed with your father. And I haven't heard from you since. You haven't returned my calls. You haven't called me. And, and finally, now you're visiting after one week. It's not that long. So I guess you know. what I need to know is, Dinah, what did I do? Did I say something? Or did I do something to hurt you? <sighs> Sorry. I'll be right back. Excuse me just a minute. I was doing some work for Henry today. I think I left it in the kitchen. I hope I'm not interrupting No, no, it's there. okay. You're not Don't interrupting me. <laughs> uh, We raided the refrigerator. I wasn't supposed to tell you. <laughs> it's your little brother. <clears throat> Another quarter heard from, so excuse me. You know, maybe I should go. Don't go. I don't want you to go. Stay right here. We have some things to talk about. So you work here, huh? I thought she just kept you around as a little dog. Or do you perform other services for her as well? Your mother must really love you a lot. How else can you explain it? told me to come over here. I had no idea what for. I didn't know he was going to invite you either. And, uh, I felt pretty weird. I mean, besides, I, I never thought of divorce as something you celebrated. Oh, well, I guess we just don't do things like other people do them, huh? And I didn't feel I had any business to be here. Oh, no. It was almost like you had to be here. I mean, you were the one responsible for the whole thing. Make me feel bad. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't feel bad. I mean, it was a good thing. We owe you a lot. Because you helped us do something that we just couldn't. You, you helped us move. I did. Yeah. When you were here the other night, and, and you reminded us that we were still married, and I know everything we said it just sort of shook us up. <laughs> well, look, I... I was just stating a fact. I certainly didn't mean to imply that she's supposed to run out and... What, and get a divorce? I've been thinking about it for a couple of months. I just put it on the back burner. And now we've done something about it. How's it feel? Funny. Funny bad, funny good. Oh, I don't know, just kind of all mixed up, sort of. You know, it's scary, but it's also kind of magical at the same time, you know what I mean? I think so. It's good, mostly. Yeah, it's good, I think. It's like, um, like I'm finally coming back home to me. coming after you now, Buzz Cooper. But a bird in the hand is worth a bird in the bush. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Well, clear. Younger women want things. But older women want to give. Give. You know, I want to give you something. A cup of coffee. 
Uh, where's Ross? Where's Ross? I think she likes you. Huh? <laughs> He's gone, and so is Uzo. Oh, pity. She's just hitting her stride. <laughs> I could get some more. Oh, no, no. I don't need any. Listen, I got enough energy to blow up the world, but I'm going to start putting it back together, starting, excuse me, with your apartment. And uh, look at this place. Look at that, the water damage up here. Here. Oh, yeah, right yeah. after the night of the fire. Well, small enough price to pay. Yeah, and costly to repair. Yeah. Uh, well, I, hey, we'll get the money. Come on. Let me show you something. Come on. Here. Okay, come here. Come on. What's up, man? All right. Well, Matthew, just the man I'm looking for. Hey, Buzz, uh, just looking uh, on this board for a little work. Gee, thinking about the same thing, are we? You know, you owe me 20 hours of labor. Are you gonna pay up uh, for the catering Dini and I did at the party? You're right. I was actually hoping for a little something that paid, but there's... Not anything up there, so I guess now is as good a time as any to get that over with. Dinah? Oh, dear, you're smoking. I forget that I'm doing it. Well, sweetheart, please don't do it in this house, especially not with your little brother sick upstairs. Can't do anything right around here, huh? Uh, sorry. I was just saying to myself as I came down the stairs how glad I am that you're here, and the very first thing I do is criticize you. I'm so sorry. Look, look, wait, 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 wait. This is the way it's going to go. You're going to go out that door, and you're going to come back in again, and we're going to start all over again, okay? No. <laughs> well, um, I... We'll go into the kitchen, and we'll make a lovely fresh salad, and we'll sit down, and we'll talk over lunch. I'm not hungry. And I think that you're right. I think that coming here was a mistake. I didn't say that. Well, you implied it. I mean... All I want to do is see you, and all I get is the third degree and uh, a guilt trip about my smoking, an offer to work in the kitchen, and dirty looks from your boyfriend. Matt? What did Matt do? What did he say? He doesn't say anything. He just stares at me like I'm trespassing or something, like I don't belong here. And, you know, the truth is that I don't. I don't fit in here. That's how I felt that first night that I came here. I mean, here's the house full of your family. Lewis's and Chamberlain's practically falling off the rafters, and it doesn't really leave much room for me, does it? That's why I think it just makes more sense if I stay with Dad. If you don't mind, I'm gonna borrow a couple of these sweaters, too. Why don't you take some of Dinah's things? She's got enough for three people. What are you doing? Look at this. Look at this. Take anything you want, Mom. Oh, oh, my gosh. She certainly did. She runs around in $600 silk scarves. My, look. She's hoarding. Airplane, gin, vodka bottles. This is unbelievable. Oh, what is this? Airline ticket. Mm -hmm. And the return date is open. Oh, I wonder what that's supposed to mean. That means she's going back. Mm-hmm. But when? And after she gets what? Why are you going through her things? Because she is a liar and a cheat and a phony. This woman, she runs around, she dresses like Adagon's mistress, and then she manages to weasel $500, which we can barely afford, out of her adoring father's, my trusting husband's wallet. That is why I'm going through her luggage, Mom. She's up to something, and I'm going to find out what it is. I, mean, I certainly can't sit, make any sense out of your life, so I'm going to try to make some sense out of my own. Good luck. Oh, Mom, you're not going to go through with this, are you? You're going to throw yourself in front of Fletcher Reed. I've got to talk to him, if I can find him. It's a big lake. And I, if I do find him, I don't know if he'll speak to me. You won't understand. You're right, I don't. All right. Today on Channel 2 News, they may not be on trial, but they've been thrown into the spotlight. The unlikely celebrities of the Simpson case today at 5. Dinah, 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 wait. Don't go. I don't want you to go like that. 
Besides, you're right about a lot of things. I can't seem to make any of the right moves here. Well, who can? I mean, nobody in this family can. Besides, the night you arrived, there were a lot of people here, a lot of Lewises, a lot of Chamberlains, and all different shapes and sizes, and making a lot of noise, and sometimes even fighting with each other. But, you know, the most important thing is that we're a family, and we're your family, too. You're just as much a part of this family as, as Bill is, or, or Peter is, or, or I am. How can I be? How can I fit into a huge family when I don't even know how to act around my own mother? I'm sorry if you were put off by my smoking and the way I act, but that's how I am. That's who I am. No matter what I do, it's going to upset you. You'll always be judging me. And the same goes for Matt. And the same goes for even little Mara and Shane. I mean, they, they, they look at me like I'm not even human. Like I'm from another planet or something. don't really know them and well I if I've made you feel that I've been judging you or or been harsh with you I'm I'm sorry it's just that um, I don't really know you either and you don't really know me I mean, you're, you're an adult now, and you've changed a lot, and I've changed, and neither of us are the, the same way we were four or five years ago. So, we have to get to know each other, and I don't, I don't know how we can do that if you don't, if you don't come over here, and if you don't talk to me. Or, you know, believe that I love you. And that I want you to be part of my life. Can you believe that? I want to believe you. You been exercising? In a minute, speaking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good girl. Catch your breath. Tell me all about it. Oh, Ross, you're just not going to believe it when I tell you. Yeah, I bet. What happened to this place? It looks like it exploded. Hurricane Dinah happened. I stopped cleaning up after her, Ross, so this is what you get. Oh, well, then you deserve these more than ever. They're peace roses, honey. Make up for the daisies of yesterday. What for? You. Because that's the most important thing in my life. You and our marriage. Really? Really? I mean, am I really the most important part of your life? Does that answer your question? Almost. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. Convinced? Mm. Convinced. And one extra? For being so terrific about Dinah, and I know that's not easy. No. Dinah and her messes. Dinah who? <laughs> You've been such a good sport, honey, about Dinah moving in with us. I, I just haven't told you enough how much I appreciate you dealing with this particular uh, uh, challenge, let's say, in our relationship. Really? Mm-hmm. And before you know it, she's going to be back in school in France, and Ross and Blake are going to be alone again. Mm. What's the matter? Is something wrong? No. No, nothing's wrong. Oh, good. Well, I don't think 
the water came down the walls, but the damage to the ceiling's pretty extensive. Let's do the upstairs hallway, and I'll show you. Come on. Okay. Hey, you know, the back door, the frame there? Yeah, yeah, Don't I'm forget sorry. that. No, I won't. I got the slow horses around and spin the alley, so I'll get started on the Fudge, can I talk to you for a minute? No, you can't. Not until you agree to foot the bill, you and your company, for rebuilding the supermarket down the... Well, what if I were to tell you that I'm going to rebuild Fifth Street? What? I'm going to rebuild Fifth Street. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> nope, I never kid about business. I'm thinking about uh, resurrecting Lewis Construction. What do you think about that, huh? You're going to put Fifth Street back on his feet? Yeah, and at the, at the same time, I'm going to put myself back on my feet. Did you listen to this guy? I am. <laughs> Keep talking, John. Well, I don't, what, what convinced you? Not me whining about government and big No, business. no, no. It wasn't the whining. It was a lot of things. The final push came from a very rich woman saying some very bad things, some very untrue things about people on Fifth Street. Well, hey, welcome <laughs> to the real world. Thank Look, you very much. Have a seat. Lunch is on me. Sit down. That's good. I'll get you some menus. My God. <laughs> What have I done? Oh, no, it, no, 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 it's simple. Your, your conscious mind is finally caught up with your subconscious mind. Excuse me? I've seen it coming for a few weeks now. Why didn't I see it? Because you're living in it. It's always easy to see what other people are doing. What have I been doing? It's what you haven't been doing. Ah. You've never been happy behind that desk. That's why you've been habitually cranky. Habitually cranky? Well, a lot. A lot. <laughs> what am I saying? You're always cranky. Oh, thank you. No. <laughs> so, you see what I'm saying? No, I don't. <laughs> Listen, you're you're actually a very nice guy, so your subconscious mind wouldn't put up with it. It kept nagging at you and pushing you and... I thought that was you. <laughs> I'm trying to explain something here. You know, for example, when you came into the hospital and uh -huh. you were... Dressed up in that construction yeah, yeah. stuff with the arrow through your head. Right, right, right. It was talking to you. The arrow was talking to me? Your subconscious mind. Oh, and what exactly was my subconscious mind saying? It was saying, lose that silly three-piece suit. Make a change. My subconscious mind said all of that. In fact, uh, it's talking to you right now. Saying, do everything Annie says. Okay. Don't fight it. I won't. You're under my power. Okay. Oh, I think I hear it now. It's saying, kiss her. Hmm. Why would it say something like that? Because it's working. Patient. It has enhanced my life greatly. Tonight, what one man's crusade against cancer could mean for you on the CBS Evening News. Yeah, it's worse upstairs. We're going to have to replace the plaster and the drywall. I need to take another look up here and see if that leak is, has anything to do with the one upstairs. Oh, I have to cut out a piece of the ceiling. Is that all right? Cut out a piece of the ceiling? Can I have that piece? You know, no matter what you do next, Josh, uh -huh. I am going to be proud of you. Well, it wasn't actually me. It was my subconscious. I'm being serious. It takes a lot of courage to... To stand up for something that's not, to get rid of something that's not working anymore, especially if your family's not too oh, excited family. about it. Ugh. I don't even want to think no. about how Vanessa's going to react to this or H. No, no, don't even yeah. think about it. Don't think about it now. I want to celebrate. What if we? Oh. What? <laughs> what? I can't hear you. You're going to have to talk a little bit louder. What? second idea of a lot, but maybe we should just start with the dinner. Great. I have to get back to the hospital. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You see, son, women, they like fish. Well, I mean, not all women, of course, but some of them, yeah. They're like fish. You know, and instead of staying down there in their nice, safe homes, those little nooks and crannies down at the bottom of the lake, well, when you 
jiggle a nice piece of juice of bait right in front of their face. Some of these fish, you know, they just come out of those nooks and crannies and they start sniffing after that bait. Even when they know that that kind of bait is bad for them, even when they've been hooked on that kind of bait before, some of these fish, like some women, they just can't help themselves. And so they go after that bait and they get hooked all over again. And I want you at all costs to avoid that kind of fish, women. Dad, you don't have to talk to me in riddles anymore. I'm not. I'm talking facts. I'm talking reality. Well, what does this have to do with the woman you're running away from? Are you sure you're 14? 15. See, that's what I mean. You're growing up too fast. Well, then give it to me straight, Dad, like a man. Okay, okay, you're right. You deserve to. Okay, like a man. All right, all right, all right. I got involved with a woman who is going to end up hurting herself again. You see, she, she's going back to another man who's like poison to her. And this other guy is a guy that she just hasn't been able to ever get out of her system. Like those fish you were talking about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And there's no way, see, I'm going to get in the middle of that. There's no way I'm going to allow her to hurt me in the process. So that's why we're here? Yeah. Well, that and all this quality time with my boy. Uh, hey, hey, hey. All right, okay. Hey. All right, now keep the tip of the rod up, all right? Now steady, steady pressure. Now let it run a little bit if you have to, okay? Just, just... What about here? Right there. You can't get there from here. My friend is up here someplace. I gotta find him. Nobody comes up this time of the year unless they got a few screws loose. Yeah, well, that fits his description. What about how long is it gonna take me to get... <laughs> you should try these. You really should. Some things are too good to keep to yourself. Like Quaker rice cakes. Hey, it tastes good. It's sweet. I like it. I love that caramel one. Caramel? <laughs> I'm in trouble. Whoa. Major crunch going on here. Try it. Try any one of the flavors. So you feel like you're snacking. Fat. Zero grams. Zero. Fat-free Quaker rice cakes. Some things are too good to keep to yourself. <laughs> They're very good. Oh, Daddy, you are so wise. You were right. You know, I did what you told me I should do. I went to see Vanessa, and it was wonderful. We talked and talked, and we were really honest with one another, and, oh, I just feel so much better now. Thank okay, you. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I, I'm pleased, I guess, for you and your mother. I just took your advice. <laughs> <laughs> I am a little selfish about this, you know. I hope you're not going to forget your old dad just because you've made up with your mother. Oh, of course not. You can't get rid of me that easily. Oh, God. That's what I like to hear. Hey. <laughs> How long have you been there? Oh, just a little while. I just, uh... I just wanted to come find you and tell you how the talk with Dinah went. We, we had the first good talk that I can remember us having in a long time. That's great. Glad you, um... Glad you guys finally got a chance to, to hook up. Me too. Hey, don't stop because of me. I, I could spend hours watching you work. Did you tell Josh to offer me a job? Me? No. What kind of job did he offer you? Doesn't matter. Excuse me a minute. Well, what do you think? I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, who's thinking? What are you doing? I'm looking at my ideal man. That's what I'm doing. Well, don't let me stop you. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a fish off. You give us luck. Since I thought you hated fish. I changed my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Where'd you get those sacks? Out of the drawer. Whose drawer? Mine. Grandma started selling them to me for Christmas. She sends me socks every Christmas. Well, a guy needs socks. Not every Christmas. <laughs> Where'd you learn how to fish? I didn't. Just like you, it came naturally. Too bad the fish aren't coming the same way. Big shot. Hey, I got one to you or nothing. Hey, I'm just getting warmed up over here. Yeah, it's hot in here. I'm hot. <laughs> Stick with me, kid. What did I tell you? What choice do I have? This is the life, isn't hey. it? Huh? Isn't this great around here? Is that someone knocking or a no. very large fish? It's the wind. Nobody's crazy enough to come up here but us. Somebody's out there. Ah. Hey, I got something. All right, all right. Reel it in there. Keep the... Keep, keep your point... Yes, can I help you? What the hell are you doing? 